How do you replace a $90,000 per year job salary with cash flow from real estate investing? This is actually something I have personal experience doing and also wrote a book called Retire Early with Real Estate, which is all about this topic. So the rest of this video, I wanna share a simple approach to how you could do it too. Hey there, I'm Chad Carson. You can also call me Coach, and this channel is all about helping you get out of the financial grind so that you can do more of what matters. When I was in my late 20s, I had just gotten married and my wife and I were both working hard at our jobs. My wife was a Spanish teacher and I had a job fixing and flipping houses. Just like everyone else, we had bills to pay. Every morning we had to get up, we had to go to work, and we had to earn money to pay those bills. And there's nothing wrong with work. I personally love work. I find it fun and meaningful. But something changes about work and not for the better when you have to do it for money. It's stressful. It's always your boss's rules and schedule and not your own. And ultimately, in the very end, there's no true security because at any time, your job and your salary could be taken away. So because of all of that, while my wife and I were working, we also set aside money and invested it into real estate. Our goal was to eventually have enough properties so that the investment income from those properties paid for all of our personal bills. Then at that point, work would be optional. We could spend more time with our kids and we could do whatever mattered most to us. Fast forward to my 37th birthday and my wife and I took a break from active work. Our cash flow from real estate paid us enough at this point that we didn't have to work a job anymore. So what do we do next? Of course, we celebrated. And in our family, that means we traveled and moved to South America, to the country of Ecuador, with our two kids. They enrolled in local schools, they learned to speak Spanish, and we had an incredible experience as a family. Now, traveling may or may not be your thing like it is for us. Maybe you'd rather just stay at home and change careers or plant a garden, spend more time with your family, or just take a break. But here's the point. If you replace your salary, or at least cover your expenses with cash flow from real estate, you can do whatever you want. So now let's get back to how you actually do this. And let's start with some basic numbers using rental properties. If you wanna earn $90,000 per year from your real estate, you need to figure out approximately how many properties would it take to do that. So first, let's break that $90,000 per year down into a monthly number. And the math works like this. $90,000 divided by 12 equals 7,500 per month. Now let's say that you have a rental property that could produce $250 per month in cash flow. What would the numbers for that property look like? It might be a house that you bought for $150,000 and put $30,000 down, which is 20%, and then you got a loan for the balance, which is $120,000. For simplicity, I'll assume this is not a fixer-upper where you had to put even more money into repairs. The rental numbers for this house might look something like this. The rent could be $1,300 per month. But then of course you have expenses on that property. So you have operating expenses, things like property taxes, insurance, a management fee so you can hire somebody to manage it for you, a vacancy expense because that rent is not always gonna be coming in. Sometimes it'll be vacant. And then of course maintenance and even capital expense reserves to replace the roof, to replace the heat and air. So all of those operating expenses, let's say in this situation are $500 per month. But then of course you also have a mortgage on this property and I'm going to assume its payment is $550 per month and that's just a 3.6% interest rate on that $120,000 mortgage over a 30 year period. When you subtract the $500 in operating expenses and you subtract the $550 in mortgage payment from your $1,300 in rent, you get a cash flow of $250 per month. Now, I know from experience that some of you are going to want more details on how to actually run the cash flow numbers that we just did in this example. So I've actually made a rental property cash flow spreadsheet that you can download for free and practice as much as you want. You can get it for free at the link above me or in the video description below. So back to how many rental properties you would need. And the simple math works like this. You divide $7,500 by $250 per month in cash flow, and that equals 30 properties. Now, if you don't have any properties right now, 30 properties can seem like a lot. And I get it. Even if every property costs the same amount, how long would it take to save up $30,000 down payments for each of those 30 properties? That would be $900,000. So let me offer you another alternative that's a little simpler and easier to get your head around. So let's take the same salary of $90,000 per year or $7,500 per month. 
But in this case, let's say you buy the rental properties and then you pay the debt on those properties off as soon as possible. Using the same rental property numbers as before, you would buy a property for $150,000, you put $30,000 down, and you get a mortgage for $120,000. And if you have the resources, maybe you buy two or three properties in a row over a two or three year period. But then you'd use the cash flow from those rental properties, plus any other cash that you could save from your day job to pay those loans off as quickly as possible. And by using a strategy called the rental debt snowball, instead of having a 30 year loan on these properties, you could pay them off as quickly as five to 10 years. I have an entire video on this rental debt snowball method. So if you're interested in learning more, check out the link to the video in the video description below. So the cash flow in the end would look like this. You would still collect $1,300 per month in rent, and you still have operating expenses. So you'd have the $500 per month, which included your taxes, your insurance, your management fee, your maintenance, capital expenses, vacancy, and all the rest. So you have those expenses, but you don't have a mortgage payment. So when you run the math, it's $1,300 in rent minus the $500 in operating expenses, and so you'd have $800 left over. That's known as your net operating income. In this case, that's your total cash flow that you would generate from one rental property after you have the debt paid off. So in this case, you'd only need 10 rental properties paid off like this in order to replace your salary of $7,500 per month or $90,000 per year. So again, how do you do that simple math? $800 times 10 equals $8,000 per month, which is more than the $7,500 per month that we've been shooting for. Because this is a smaller, simpler portfolio of only 10 properties, you have the added benefit of having a lot less risk with no debt on the properties and also a lot less hassle where you don't have to deal with as many properties and as many tenants. So that's the basic math. Whether you have 10 properties or 30 in these examples, in either case, you can replace your salary of $90,000 per year. But of course, I know what you might be thinking, the reality of doing this is a lot easier than actually just drawing it on a whiteboard. And you're right. You've got to save up the cash for your down payments to buy these properties. You've got to get the financing to scale and to buy multiple properties. And you've actually got to find good properties where the numbers make sense and the cash flow actually works. And for many of you, you're living in high cost of living markets where buying a $150,000 property is an impossibility. So it's kind of hard to get your head around buying less expensive properties. So you might have to buy a different strategy. Maybe you're having to buy more expensive properties that don't make as much cash flow and go about it that way. Or you might have to invest long distance. And I know for a lot of you, time is an issue. You have a full-time job, you have obligations, you have family, and how are you gonna figure out the time to actually go and execute this and buy these properties and do all of these details? But to give you some hope, you don't have to figure out all of it at once. My recommendation is to always start small. Buy just one property at a time. And then you take a deep breath, you learn a little bit, and then you buy another property, and then another and another. The reality is that people who replace their salaries or pay for their expenses with rental properties, take it with that approach, one small property at a time. And I also wanna remind you that helping you do all of this, including the details of buying properties and holding rental properties and paying them off, is really the mission of everything I do here on this channel and also with all the other educational courses that I offer. And one practical tool that I'd like to help you with right away is offering you my rental property cash flow spreadsheet for free. If you'd like to run the cash flow numbers for a rental property, just like we did in the examples in this video, you can practice as much as you want using this spreadsheet. You can get it for free by clicking the link above me here or in the video description below. My name is Chad Carson. You can also call me coach and this channel is all about helping you get out of the financial grind so you can do more of what matters. See you in the next video.